this integral. It's super amazing. In fact, not the real version of it, even though everything's real, but rather we'll talk about the complex version of this, and that's the one that's going to give us very, very nice result. And you guys are going to like it so much. I didn't come with the following though. I want to thank my viewer, dear viewer, dear ZVH, right? He was the one who showed me how to get this awesome result. And we begin by looking at the integral from 0 to pi over 2, ln of 2 times cosine x dx. Everything is real. And the first step is to make it complex. So let's talk about the following. This is the same as integrating from 0 to pi over 2, ln, the 2 is still 2. And we'll be using the complex definition of cosine for this, which is e to the ix plus e to the negative ix all over 2. And if you want to see why this is true, you can check out my video. The link is in the description. And you see that the two cancel each other out nicely. That's good. And here we have the integral from 0 to pi over 2 ln. From here to here, I will factor out the e to the ix. e to the plus the ix. And we see that from here, we get 1 plus. And once we factor out e to the ix, we will have to minus ix from this exponent. So we get e to the negative 2ix right here. And if you multiply this out, you see we get that back. So we know we did this right. And of course, we are still have that dx. What's doing in the x world? And now we see that this is pretty much the product of two things inside of the ln. So we can write this down as the sum of the ln plus the other ln, right? And we can also write them as two separate integrals. Therefore, I will just write this down. This is the integral from 0 to pi over 2. First one is ln of e to the ix. And then we will just close this integral. Secondly, we add integral from 0 to pi over 2 ln of this, 1 plus e to the negative 2ix dx. And if I have a choice, if I'm taking a test or something, I will choose to do this one over this one, of course, because ln and e, they cancel each other out. So right here, we're pretty much just integrating ix in the x world. And to do so, remember, i is just like a constant. So you keep it, and then you add 1 to the power, 1 plus 1 is 2, divide by the power, which is over 2 here, and then you have x squared right here, and then you go from 0 to pi over 2. And perhaps we'll finish this first. Why not? Plug in pi over 2 here, you get i over 2, and then you have pi over 2 square, and then minus i over 2, and then plug in 0 square. This is pi square over 4. 4 times 2 on the bottom is just over 8. Therefore, we get i pi square on the top over 8, like this. And this is, of course, 0, so we don't need to worry about that. And now the harder part is this right here. Hmm, I don't want to try integration by parts. I don't want to try substitution. I will just use series for this. So check this out. Which series? Of course, ln of 1 plus something, right? So here we go. Let me make a note right here for you guys. Well, we know that ln of 1 plus z, and the reason I'm using z is because here we have a complex number. This right here is equal to the following. z minus z squared over 2. No factorial, by the way. And then plus z to the third power over 3. And then minus z to the fourth power over 4. And then plus so on, so on, so on. And if you want to see why this is true, once again, you can check out my video. The link will be in the description. And perhaps let's talk about the technical part, the radius of convergence. This right here, it's only the jet if absolute value of z. And remember, z is a complex number. So if you take the absolute value, meaning that you're trying to find the distance of that complex number from the origin. If that distance is and with the exception that z cannot be negative 1, then this right here converges. Okay? And once again, e to the explanation, the link will be in the description. Okay, here we have this part, e to the negative 2ix. We can simply first plug in this into all the z and then integrate. That will be the strategy. So here we go. Let's take a look of what's ln of 1 plus e to the negative 2ix, like this. Okay, I will just first plug in this into all the z's, and the thing I will do is that I will not multiply out the exponents. I'll just leave this how they are. You'll see why. Anyway, first of all, I will do this into here, so which is e to the negative 2ix, and then next, I will just put down minus, plugging this in here. We know that we will have to multiply the exponent with that, right? Because you have this square. I will keep this two in blue, and then the rest in red. So we will have e to the negative let me put down the 2 first, original power right here, and then turns 2ix like that, and then over 2 like this, okay? And then next, we add, we we'll do the same thing, plugging this in here, I will keep the 3 in blue, so we pretty much will have e to the negative 3 times 2ix over 3, and then, the last one on this that we have, of course, it's going to be the final, but the one that we will do is, we minus e to the negative 4 times 2ix over 4 and 4, okay? Alright, this right here is just the function inside. Now let's talk about integration. And first of all, let's integrate, let's just find the x, okay? Alright, let's take this out. And the difference is that we have e to the x times x, and this is x plus power. Okay. 
Thank <laughs> you.